Slowly, Shepard wakes up from what seemed to be a horrifying nightmare. How are you feeling, Commander? Could you tell me what year this is? It's July 23rd, 2183. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy, graduate of N7. Currently assigned to the SSV Normandy as its XO, and this is the ship sickbay. That's the pilot, Jeff Moreau, also known as Joker. This is Dr. Liara Tassoni, and you are Dr. Karen Chaklis, the ship's medical officer. Oh yeah, and our current president is Casey Hudson. Should I keep going? You've clearly been to way too many sick bays, Commander. Well, welcome back, Commander. You had us worried there. But today it's not the 23rd, so not a perfect score. What? You were out for two days, Commander. You didn't know if you were going to wake up. But I feel fine. You are not injured physically, but I'm worried about these EEG readings. Pattern shows abnormal beta waves, and with extended periods of REM sleep, this would suggest intense dreaming. What did you dream about? I'm not sure. I saw machines, death, destruction. <laughs> Makes no sense. Hmm. The exposure to the beacon might have caused more psychological manifestations than I initially thought. We need to keep an eye out on it. It's most likely some sort of information transfer that gained access to the commander's mind. Possibly a message directly from the Protheans. <sighs> Too bad the beacon was destroyed. I would have given everything just to study it. Destroyed? W what happened? It might have been damaged already, and activating it caused it to overload. It was my fault. I shouldn't have gotten so close. It's not your fault. You didn't know. And now, whatever the Protheans had to say is locked away in your mind. Great. Um, you know, I really hate to be the person to explain how an important historical and technological artifact was destroyed. Oh, and the decorated council specter was killed in the process. Oh, wait. You have to do that, Commander. Joker, shouldn't you be flying the ship? Oh crap! Who's flying the ship? We're gonna crash without Joker! No, Commander. We've already docked at the Citadel. The Council has requested an urgent meeting. You know, to find out what happened exactly. The captain has just left with Ash and Caden. I need to get there. Shepard quickly gets up to dress. Everyone respects Shepard's privacy except Joker. Stares at the Commander. Dr. Chuck was immediately shoes him away. I'm going, I'm going. They're going, I'm going. Where are they meeting? That would be at the Presidium Tower. I can take you there if you'd like. I'd appreciate that. Why didn't you go there with the others? Dr. Tassoni stayed by your side for two days. She wanted to make sure you woke up first. Please, call me Liara. That's very kind of you, Liara. It's the least I could do for someone who saved my life. Shepard is back in her combat armor, and with Liara, they exit the Normandy. It's the first time Shepard's been to the capital of the galaxy. She can't help but marvel in the splendor of its beauty and grace. So many different species go in about their own business. This must be your first time here. You know, my people were the first to discover the Citadel. And one by one, the other races joined us. The Citadel is the heart and center of the galaxy. Its five separate arms can fold and form an impenetrable wall, making it also the safest place in the Milky Way. The Protheans must have been an amazing race of people. Yes. It is a popular belief that the Protheans are the ones who built the Citadel. But my research suggests that they found the Citadel just like we did, and its construction is actually far more ancient. Then who built all these? And what happened to them? To solve that mystery, we should first discover what happened to the Protheans who did once inhabit this place. An entire race can't just vanish without a trace. Some say it was a pandemic, a war, Others say the Protheans migrated to another galaxy. 
I've dedicated my life to finding these traces. Understanding what happened to them is the very reason I became an archaeologist. The Alliance is lucky to have you as our expert. That's nice of you to say. But actually, I'm considered far too young in my field to be worthy of the Eden Prime project. The Alliance could not get in touch with the more experienced scholars. And so, they had no choice but to recruit me. What happened to the others? It's rumored that some of them went missing. Quite strange, don't you think? Hmm. But for me, those couple of days were exhilarating. Figuring out the architecture of the ruins, locating the beacon and salvaging it in one piece. But then, it got far too exciting for my liking when the guests showed up. I never imagined the life of an archaeologist could be so dangerous. Dr. Liara Tassoni in Raiders of the Lost Prothean Ark. <laughs> I can see the poster already. <laughs> I... I don't understand. It's a reference to a classic movie of ours. I'll show it to you sometime. Oh, all right. That cab will take us right to the Presidium. Liara runs off to hail the cab, while Shepard uses this opportunity to radio Joker. Joker, run a search on leading Prothean experts and pull up anything suspicious. What do you expect to find, Commander? Just do it, Joker. Report back as soon as you can. Aye, aye, Commander. Shepard gets in the cab with Liara and heads for the Presidium Tower. They arrive as the Council is already in session. If you insist, Ambassador, I will call upon the Spectre. I believe he's here on the station. Ah, Commander Shepard. I can see you are up on your feet. Sadly, the same cannot be said for Spectre Nihilus. He was one of our best. I'm sorry for your loss, Counselor. Dr. Tassoni, we've read everyone's report, including yours. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, Counselor. Then that just leaves you, Commander. I would like to hear what happened on Eden Prime, from your perspective. Yes, Nihilus was sent to accompany you to recover the Prothean artifact and evaluate your worthiness as a potential Spectre. How is it that you ended up getting him killed and the Beacon destroyed? You know that's not fair. The Geth attacked. No one would have expected that. And this is how the Commander deals with unexpected situations. I was up for Spectre status? Sorry, Shepard. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to overthink it. I just wanted you to do what you normally do, which is get the job done. But none of us anticipated the Geth. Nonetheless, it is clear that the Commander is not Spectre material, unable to react to the unexpected, nor perform under pressure. This is With all due respect, Ambassador, Counselors, I believe the bigger issue here is that one of our colonies was attacked and innocent lives were lost. The Commander is right. Our deepest condolences go to the families of those who lost their loved ones in this horrendous attack. Do we know what the Geth wanted with the Beacon? We have a team working on it, salvaging the Geth parts to see what they can find. And what about this person, Saren? He was the last person Nihilus spoke of before his transmission ended. Yes, your crew have mentioned this to us as well. It's highly unlikely that it's the Saren known to us, for Spectre Saren Arterius is one of our most experienced and decorated operatives, and he was not assigned to Eden Prime at the time. Greetings, counselors. You humble me with such generous compliments. My thanks. Oh, Saren is actually here. This is going to be interesting. Uh, don't even get me started on that. What's wrong, Commander? I don't think it's wrong. What's wrong with you? Uh, what? Your character is so disrespectful to a superior officer, you know that? It's only with Fenshep. <laughs> what, you're a misogynist? 
No, we're just really close because of what happened in Enlisted. Huh? What's that? Haven't you seen it? It's the prequel story to Spectre status. Prequel? No. Yeah, Caden, my character, and Fenship all went to basic training together. In fact, I was one of the key inspirations for turning her into such a badass. <laughs> you, an inspiration for badass? <laughs> no, I'm serious. If it wasn't for me, she probably won't have made it. Especially what happened at the end. I really like the end. Sounds kind of gay. Well, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we are pretty close too, right, Joker? Um, yeah, I guess. What do you mean you guess? N no, no, we are great. Except... God damn it, Joker, just say it. Um, well, you know when we go to the bar and you always say you're going to be my wingman? Yeah, because you're a pilot, get it? Yes, yes. But every time we chat up the ladies, you end up going home with them. Like all of them. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I got games. But I end up going home by myself. With all due respect, Commander, but you never share. Yes, I do. The fat ones don't count. Oh, no, come on, man, that's just so- No, I have a medical condition. A girl with elevated BMI will lead to more fractures. It's a matter of health and safety. Health and safety? Yeah, it's like why you wouldn't want a blowjob from a female fortune. Okay, 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 fine, fine. You can have the anorexic ones next time. Unless she's in Asari. I call dibs on all Asari. Well, that's not fair. Well, you can have Liara. I thought you liked her. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, let's just say what happens in Theorem stays in Theorem. Oh, okay. That's a strange role. It's, it's definitely over.